With recent gun violence across our state, especially on the heels of what happened in Orlando at the mass, during the massacre there, local uh, officials and police are hoping that a gun buyback program this coming weekend will help take some guns off the streets. CBS 4's Walter McCalla is in Miami with the story. The gun buyback program this Saturday is in its 19th year. We're pleading with the community to come out and bring guns. In its continuing effort to reduce gun violence, the City of Miami Police Department is joining forces with Reverend Jerome Starling to hold a No More Stray Bullets gun buyback program, no questions asked. It's crazy. Rakaia Isaac was shot and killed in 1997 by a stray bullet walking home from the Martin Luther King parade. Since then, you had Columbine, Virginia Tech, Newtown, now Orlando. The gun buyback program will come just two days before July 4th celebrations, where traditionally many stray bullets are senselessly fired into the air, injuring and killing innocent people. And it comes on the heels of one of the largest gun shows in South Florida, which just wrapped up over the weekend in Fort Lauderdale at the War Memorial Auditorium, where a large number of firearms were sold. The gun buyback program allows anyone to drop off any firearm here at Athlete Range Park at 525 Northwest 62nd Street. That's Saturday, July 2nd from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. without any questions. Those who drop off a gun will receive a $50 gift card from various places, including Walmart, in exchange for their firearm. Everyone in this community needs to come together and put down the guns. A gun buyback program earlier this year in March brought in 128 guns and rifles. $6,500 were exchanged for those weapons. Reverend Starling hopes this weekend's event will be just as successful. In Miami, Walter McCalla, CBS4 News.